Yo, how's it going guys? We're talking anime. The anime that we're talking about today is called Mondaichi Tachi something. It's down here. It's long. The translation for this anime literally is the problem children are coming from another dimension, aren't they? Or something like that. The thing about this anime, I actually found it pretty enjoyable. The story of this anime is about three kids that have been transported into this world called Little Garden. And within Little Garden, there's like different sorts of creatures like vampires, werewolves, and all sorts of other like mythical creatures, gods, and whatever, demons. In Little Garden, they're all like separated into their little communities. And like the communities try to gain like glory by like participating in these uh, gift games, they're called. They make up the rules to like their little games and they put down like what, you know, they bet whatever, like their gifts or like their communities or their territory, whatever. And the story is about these three kids that have been like taken from their different dimensions. And they're all like pretty badass kids in their own right, but uh, they all get brought to Little Garden and they have to fight for like the worst community in the Little Garden. Like they used to be the biggest, but something happened. And then uh, they became literally the crappiest and these lot want some help. And they want these guys help. The three main characters, I had to get look this up, <laughs> I forgot their names. But uh, the three main characters are Sakamaki Izayoi. He's sort of like this arrogant blonde kid from what well, seems to be our world. But he has like some super abilities. Next up is Kudo Asuka. She's like a rich kid that has the ability to like command people to do whatever. So it's kind of like Code Geass, but she can constantly do it. And, you know, she can just keep telling someone to do whatever and they have to listen. The final person that they summon is Kusakabe Yo. She has the ability to, like, talk to animals. And once she makes that animal her friend, she can, like, take on their abilities and become, like, stronger, faster, whatever. You know, she takes on the abilities of that creature. So these three characters have been basically brought in to help out this like no name community and like try and rebuild them to their former glory. And they basically have to go through all these different trials and all sorts. My likes for this story is that I found it pretty intriguing. For example, Izoyo. He's his ability, his gift is unknown. Like when they try and decipher what like what kind of gift he has. Uh, no one really knows and you know that kind of makes him intriguing because like he is this super immense like character that no one seems to be able to beat and like once he joins the fight you know he's going to kick everyone's butt and you know that's kind of cool that like, sort of makes him a little bit like Goku from Dragon Ball Z and um, you know even throughout the whole anime you don't see him to show any sort of weakness he's just arrogant and you can't think he's a bit of a knob, but <laughs> he's alright, he's alright. The whole story about like these three kids coming to this world to try and build up this community and everything that has no name and you see how they progress and everything like that and that's kind of cool to see, like see how far they can get. Another thing that I do like is like the little bits of comedy that do appear up in the anime here and there. Like some of it is just... You don't expect it, and I just think that that's pretty cool. You know, that kind of comedy to me is funny. My dislikes about this anime is the story, for one. The length of the story. Um, it's too short. Like, the, for this anime, it's like ten episodes, and no one really finishes anything. Nothing is really accomplished. And that's just... Meh. It makes the anime just like that, and the anime has that potential to be so much more. Only other dislike for this anime was how strong Izoyoi was. You know, although I did think he was pretty cool and mysterious and everything, he was unbelievably strong. And he kind of overshadowed the other two characters. Like, you got the Asuko who has her ability to talk to people, and then you got Kusakabe who can talk to animals. You could say Asuka could control Izoyoi with her uh, with her gift and make him do whatever. But, you know, throughout the story, like, though her and Kasukabe, uh, she, they both seem, they both seem like they become redundant 
with Iz Izayoi there because Izayoi, even though he's arrogant and everything, he's super strong, he's super intelligent, and you know, he just seems like he knows exactly what he's doing all the time. Overall, I give this a 7 out of 10. I did enjoy this anime, I did like it, I did love the story, however, it was too short. Um, as and also I did love the characters but you know with Izoyoi being as strong as he was he overshadowed the other two made him feel a bit redundant yeah what I would have liked to have seen is like the girls to at least got some upgrades that made him like Izoyoi and Izoyoi having to you know to show his full potential and you know so we should have got like a glimpse of it but we didn't and it was just like ah oh. But yeah, you know, this is a good anime. I would actually recommend, you know, you lot to go and see it. So I will put a link down below. Um, if there is any animes that you do want me to check out, don't forget to leave that in the comment box below. And I will go and watch that. <laughs> like, try and watch it as quick as possible. Uh, I actually just finished High School DxD. And uh, I will actually be doing a review of that very soon. I will probably do it right now, actually. But uh, I'm not feeling too well. So, if you guys like my video, do hit the subscribe button, wherever it is. Uh, hit the like button, share it, whatever. And uh, I'm going to leave some, like, links down below. Like, you can see me on Facebook, Twitter, chat to me and everything. We can talk about anything you want to talk about. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.